A gymnasium develops the body. Mathnasium develops the mind. Children don't hate math. They hate being confused and intimidated by math. There's going to be 100 kilometers. And all you do is solve the proportion. The Mathnasium method is the life work of Larry Martinek, Mathnasium's chief instructional officer, a teacher and school consultant who spent the last 30 years of his life building a better way to teach uh, math. This number by the product of this and this. Good job, Adam. Absolutely, absolutely correct. Now let's let's take it and do, do the same problem except with a little bit different twist on it. So we need to find out what 21% of this is. Now what does the word of mean in math? 21% times, like, perfect. Exactly. There you go. What's our secret? We begin by really getting to know the student through a written and oral math check. -up. Next, from a clear, three-dimensional picture of the student's strengths and weaknesses, we tailor a personalized workbook, because no two students are alike. Filled with illustrations and puzzles that engage all the senses, these exercises, unique to Mathnasium, map the way to success by developing thinking skills alongside basic math concepts. The result is a deep understanding of the subject. Problem solving becomes eight, second nature. Mathnasium students are not automatons, but thinking mathematicians, building number sense and a lifelong love of mathematics in a fun, nurturing environment that emphasizes individual attention and self esteem. Uh, if you could be any number in the universe, what number would you be? 10. Why? Because that's my favorite number and I'm turning 10. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Why is it your favorite number? It's an even number, but I like it a lot for some reason. What's your favorite number? Three. Three. That's my favorite number, too. Why, why, why is that your favorite number? I just like that number. Just, just, just a good Whenever number. I say three, I get it right. Bing, 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 bing. <laughs> Not because of ten fingers? No, it's just some... Just a number that yeah. works, just works yeah. for you. What's an odd number and what's an even number? An odd number is like three, five, and how do you know when you know a number's odd? Odd is like when, if it's like three, two is like the same, so it's, they're good, but then there's one and it's, no, nobody's with there to be with him, so it's odd, so he doesn't have anybody. He doesn't have anybody, very nicely said. Uh, and if you add two odd numbers together. Two odd, like, let's say three and three? Right. Are you That'd be eight? six, that'd be an even number, because so, three and three. So why, why is an odd number plus an odd number always an even number? Because they would add up to have each other, and then they'd be the same, kind of the same, so they'd have the same number. They'd, they'd have a and friend then, Yeah, they'd add a friend to go to the movies with. Do you have a favorite number? Yeah, 12. 12, interesting number. How, how did you go on 12? Because when I, when I got, when I was, well actually it's 11 because when I was 11 I got my dog. Ah, so. very sweet. Oh, very favorite number. My favorite number is three. Do you have a favorite number, Um, well my like lucky number oh, is eight, so. How did that happen? Mm -hmm. Did it happen? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what, is, what is percent? Um, well it's like something per each hundred. Ah, something per each hundred, good. So if I ask you what's 7% of 300? Um, that's 21. And how did you get that so quick? Well, because I have a little trick, which is 7 times 3 is 21. So. Very good, that's a nice little trick. How about this, how about 8% of 200? Um, 16. Good, now listen to this question. How about 8% of 50? Um, 8? No, That's 8% of 100. Four. Good job. So how much is 8% of 100? Um, 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1
How, how did five become your favorite number? Um, I don't know. Just one of those things? Okay, listen to this question. If you have a box of cookies, and your mom says you can have half after lunch, and then you can eat half of what's left after dinner, yeah. and then after dinner, you have five cookies left in the box, how many were there in the box to start with? 20. How'd you do it? Because I, since there was five left, I did five plus five, because you can only eat if half was left. And then before you ate yeah. half of that, so five plus five is 10, and 10 plus 10 is 20. Perfect. Hmm. <laughs> um, do you have a favorite number? Yeah. What's that? 9,999. Very, very. <laughs> How did that become your favorite number? That's the most unusual favorite number I ever heard. <laughs> Just one of those numbers. Just one of those numbers. And if you add one to, to that, what are you going to get? 9,999 plus one is going to be what? 10,000. 10,000. Yeah. Good. Can I pick this number? No. Why not? Because if I had 2,553 million and you added one, that would be more, so you can keep on going on until you're dead. <laughs> and somebody could carry on for you. So, until they were dead. What? Until they were dead. Okay, and, that, and then somebody else could carry yeah. on for them. Until the world blows up. There you go. Hmm.